Augusta, Alabama. I went down to Alabama. It's like Jennifer Aniston. That's how I kept trying to remember it. I would uh, go down on Jennifer Aniston, Alabama. She's getting old nowadays. Yeah, I think she's looking better though. Yeah, that's right. Just get this, get all this out of the way. Yeah, I'm gaffing it up. This is a uh, four years of film school, right there. What did you learn in film school? Uh, I learned how to YouTube stuff. <laughs> <laughs> True story. So I graduate from college, mm -hmm. and uh, I think they just mailed the diploma to my parents' house. Right. And uh, no one asked for it. No one, none of my prospective employers, you know. I was a theater major. Right. That's how valuable that is. Um, yeah. What do you do now? And then 12 years later, uh, somebody, some teaching job, wanted to see it, and I had to go ask for really? it. Really? Look for it. And I asked the school for it, and they were like, uh, you didn't graduate. Yeah, and so I had to go on an email campaign. Wow. To previous professors and heads of departments. Because it was basically a... That's crazy. An error in uh, calculating ways. Things, but... Long story short, I got that diploma, <coughs> and no one still cares that I have it. Yeah. No one cares at all. It's stuck in between... Uh, I didn't frame it yet. I have it stuck in between pages of a collector's edition Mad Magazine. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Alfred E. Newman. I, uh... Pete in the snow. I'm, a like, two semesters short of a degree. What was... What do you but, learn in film school? Do you watch a ton Well, of I like actually it? learned that uh, you can be two semesters short of a film degree and do everything that you can do with a film degree. Yeah, it probably doesn't matter, <laughs> like, right? I did learn that. No one, yeah. you don't set up a camera and people are like, hold on, can I see your film <laughs> yeah. degree? No, they, no they cares. mostly say, why are you talking? You just get out there and do yeah. it. What's funny about film and production is these are the most liberal, understanding people on earth, but yet they'll fire you for the wrong cup of coffee. <laughs> like, instantly. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's weird. Fun. That's a weird gig. It's definitely uh, abnormal. I didn't learn a lot in film school, though. I have a bunch of new bits I'm try trying about uh, whenever I was auditioning for stuff in Hollywood. Yeah? Yeah. It's just weird. It's one of the few occupations where you can be pretty openly racist. Yeah. And be like, hey, for this role, no Mexicans. You can just say stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, well, you know, it's written. I mean, that's what it's supposed to be, yeah. It's weird. Or you could be like, hey, for this role, I need to see those tits. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's weird. I kind of like that part. Yeah. I mean, we should keep that around. Role of best friend. Do you think there's any, like, you know, I don't know if you've noticed this, but there's been a, a very big increase of dongs in mainstream media. Well, they got bored with the tits. I, I could have told you this was going to happen in the 80s. Wow. I hate to be... But that was Big Bush era, both uh, presidentially and uh, pubically. Yeah, well, true. We weren't even thinking about Bush back then. And and that'll be the next thing. Bush is coming back. No, you'll get some lip slips. <laughs> Remember when the lip slip was big? We've done tits. We're going to go through a whole dong phase. And that'll be next. Yeah. Because you'll be like, turn on... Turn on ABC, Calista Flockhart's vagina is <laughs> going to be on. This is a real a, modern thing. They're doing a whole special about Gwyneth Paltrow's pussy, pussy lips. <laughs> <laughs> they actually already did that. It's called Gloop. Yeah, what is up with that lady? I don't know, man. She kind of lost her mind, maybe. I'm into it. She seems more attractive. Did you know that she used to weigh about 600 pounds? No. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> For this movie, she lost it all. There's no, there's no way. <laughs> it was called Shallow How. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way her frame would support that. It's true. I like that movie. The uh, Jack Black played the lead love interest. Yeah, she actually lost 600 pounds for that part. That movie doesn't age very well, does it? <laughs> no, kind of. He's more progressive than anybody. He saw past the fact that she was a 
<laughs> grotesque whale. She's a huge fat person. <laughs> yeah. Does she a big fat person? Buffalo Bill, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Was she a great big fat person? Hey. <laughs> hey, I need some help putting this in the back of my van. <laughs> can, you, can, you, can you help, can you help me get this in the back of my van? How about, how about if you get up in there? How about you get in the back of my van? I know. I like how there's uh, like open reports. Of this guy killing so women good. left and right. I think it's playing on a radio in the background. <laughs> yeah, I think so. So dumb. It, it was based off of a uh, Ted Bundy. So, oh shoot, man, what, a, what a hell of a tangent. We were talking about this road trip we're doing. We got it bright and early. Mm. We watched the sunrise come up. Yeah, it's just that it's ten. And we're just not seeing. We're the heading sun. to Alabama to the Comedy Lounge, Alabama. Corbin Lamaster and, D- and Derek Luna, me, we're going to be uh, playing uh, some comedy down there. We're going to be playing comedy. Some jokes. We're going to be doing jokes, telling stories, having some laughs. And, uh, it's our first big paying gig uh, $25,000 a piece. What? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? We're not getting paid that much, are we? That's- I mean, it might be 20 It's a door deal. It's a door deal. Oh, you're saying potentially. Yeah, yeah, I mean. Wow, you are optimistic, sir. I mean, I live in the real world. <laughs> I was like, that a guarantee? I would have quit my job. If, well, if I, knew it was that I priced much. the tickets at $1,000 a person. Oh. So we only need 20 people to show 20 up. 20 tickets. And there's 20,000 in the town. And if you if you break that down, that's 1%. Wise. 0.1%. I love your math. You make it seem real doable. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, Find 20 dickheads. Like, yeah. A thousand bucks. <laughs> yeah. I bet there's a, a thousand people in Alabama who don't need a thousand dollars. Oh, there's a thousand people in Alabama who's never seen a thousand dollars. I'm excited. I've said I've only had fun times in Alabama. Yeah. There's I, a lot of, look, Alabama, it's easy to joke about Alabama. Right. I think so. I have an Alabama joke. Yeah. Let's hear it. It's kind of a Missouri joke. Um, Missouri is not the most racist state <laughs> in the union, you know? I think of Alabama or Mississippi when I think of racism, you know? Right. In Alabama and Mississippi, they have to apologize for Jim Crow. In Missouri, we just have to apologize for Cheryl Crow. Oh, yeah. Cheryl Crow. You get it? Yeah. I saw the... the Every day is a brand new <laughs> That's uh She's great They actually though. sang that When Martin Luther King Crossed the uh, Yeah I think, that, I think that was actually Mississippi But uh He was crossing uh, The bridge And yeah. in the background It was All I wanna <laughs> do Is have some fun I got a feeling I ain't the only one All I wanna do Well, you know how media does? They only took a picture here If you zoom out, there's a lot of people just dancing (laughs) Just (laughs) loving it (laughs) Yeah, that's great Cheryl Crow And you know, I've had lots of people offended Whenever I I told that joke But there are people who like Cheryl Crow They're not It's not people who are offended Actually, uh I actually have a big uh, theory on this. I don't think black people are offended by jokes. Period. I, no, I, I think most people are at all. Yeah, I, I think I think black people's lives have been so hard already. They're like, yes, this is a joke. I it's think fun. mainly it's white ladies. I am trying to that. stick up for other people. Yeah, and isn't uh, it funny that I think the last type of person on earth I would want to stick up for me is, is a white woman. Yeah, and like. What are you going to do in a fight? Well, look. You can be body armor. Well, let's just even put that on a back burner. Like, how many times do you see a white lady saying something that's right? Or Not correct? Often. You know what I mean? Not They're often, often wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I, I <laughs> let's believe be it's, real. <laughs> I believe it's the uh, pre- postfrontal co- cortex. I mean, I'd, li- I'd love to agree with them, but then I'd be wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do that. Necessarily. Oh, we're creeping up on Jonesboro. Oh! Oh, it's a mass shooting in Jonesboro! 
a Bentley just passed us, dude. We're we catching up to that Bentley. We shouldn't joke about it. But it's... Boom. That's how you do it right there. The American end. Uh, we were told when we checked in that it was really nice. I would have to agree. It's a real home town flair we've got going on here. I'm gonna take you guys on a little bit of a tour to show you what we're working with. Right here at the American Inn. This is where you want a place where an artist can relax and uh, rejuvenate themselves in body and in mind. And so here, I'll just, I'll uh, give you guys a little tour here, show you. We got, this is called the Mandarin Room. We got going on here. Corbin's over there hard at work on uh, jokes. Cause you know, that's what we're doing over here. Check this guy out. We told him, we told them to take all the uh, covers off all the electrical outlets. Cause Corbin says he can smell electricity. He gets, <laughs> He's, he's got a weird thing going on over here. Check this out. This is my favorite part. We've got these sheets are extra aerodynamic because they got all these holes in these holes in them. Uh, makes you sleep faster. <laughs> How are we doing, Corbin? I slept fast last night. We slept, we slept hard and fast. And there's the toilet paper trees and... Uh, all that stuff, check out what's going on here. We got some water damage going on. Uh, you know, sometimes in the shower you get too splishity and too splashity. And uh, you know, that's what's going on here, probably nightly. Nightly. And uh, you know, all all this- Smells that way. All this Chinese furniture, what could be more American than that? That's what I say. Yeah, so it's getting close to showtime and we're hanging out, washing a little foosball. Re rejuvenating ourselves and uh yeah it's the most american place to be i'm proud to stay at the american i feel patriotic or at least i know i'm free this is uh i feel like a headquarters for january 6th <laughs> i'm not sure i did have some questions about how american uh the staff here was but that's an issue i'm not saying it's owned by that's an issue for another day i am not a uh, in America, we accept all, everybody. Yeah. So it's yeah. probably, again, check mark again, real ultra American. Yeah. American in. American. It kind of sounds like an American in. We should do an advertisement for the American in, probably. Hey, you welcome on down to the American in. Come on down to the American <laughs> in. We've got a hot cup of coffee for you. <laughs> there wasn't any coffee. No at coffee. A, at a continental breakfast, there was no continental but breakfast. But what's, what's actually cool is when you get your, to get your key, you have to you have to knock on their apartment, <laughs> and they come around in their pajamas to yeah. give you the key. We did have an over under on whether or not uh, the people who owned and operated this establishment would live here, and they do. They do. They do. They do. In America, that is in America. <laughs>